Hey guys, it's Jesse, and in this video, we're gonna be checking out two new puzzles from Dian Sheng. These are some big cubes. So we have an eight by eight and nine by nine here. So let's just jump right into it. Let's go ahead and start with this eight by eight. So here is the puzzle. This is a new 8x8 from Dian Xing. What's special about this one is that it is actually magnetic. So even though this isn't a, really a WCA event and no one really practices 8x8 that much, they decided to make a magnetic version of this puzzle, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty interesting to see like what kind of times people are able to get with better hardware for bigger cubes. Just doing first turns here. Right off the bat, it actually feels kind of stiff. It feels like I need to loosen this puzzle up a bit, which is like surprising because when I separate the layers like this, there's a lot of, of a gap. There's a, a big gap here. I don't think the tensions are actually that stiff. The puzzle just feels tight. But yeah, the magnet strength is, uh, it, it's definitely like decently strong. Like I'm feeling the stiffness of the layers more than the magnets in terms of like how well the layers are sticking together and how stable the cube is but there are uh, a lot of magnets in here so you can see there are these green magnets that you can see in the edges here and then they're red on the corners the second layer ones are blue and then these are uh like yellow i think and then these middle ones that's green yeah that's green another thing you can notice about the design when you kind of turn the layers halfway like this is this kind of squished honeycomb design. I don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, basically all of these edge pieces are capped. So the centers, it looks like, are colored all the way through. You can sort of tell which pieces have the black internals, right? Like they're a little bit darker. It kind of changes the color of the shade of each side. The edges are just a little bit darker than the centers, which are the full color of the piece. And then one more thing is that all of these edges have a very, very subtle ridge to them right along the edges here the the caps kind of bulge out a little bit right at the very edge i'm not sure how much that's really going to help with grip i mean the outer layers are already bigger than the inner layers and honestly like the effect is so subtle that it even kind of makes you wonder if it's intentional or not or if it's just like the plastic bending from like not being the right shape or size or something like that yeah definitely a very interesting choice from dian Sheng there so yeah overall i'm uh, i'm not really too impressed <laughs> with the the performance of this but maybe it'll be better if i uh kind of mess with the tensions a bit and also lubed it that would probably help quite a bit another thing is that it is really small so i have a 7x7 to compare it with here this is an mgc7 i think the 7x7 might be like a tiny bit smaller but these two cubes are almost identical in size my impression of this cube is that it just feels kind of sticky like it it doesn't really feel like it really wants to move it just kind of wants to like stick all stick together again I, I actually don't really think that's because of the magnets it just feels like the plastic not really wanting to move very much hey guys this is Phil here to remind you to like and subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell to be reminded when we upload we also stream every Monday Wednesday and Friday on Twitch so come hang out anytime now let's get back to the video anyways that's the 8x8 let's go ahead and also check out the 9x9 real quick so this is the Dianxing Magnetic 9x9. We have a Dianxing logo in the corner, which is missing on this 8x8. But yeah, let's go ahead and do some turning on this one. Okay, okay, right off the bat, this one definitely feels uh, a bit smoother. Feels like it wants to turn more. And this one has primary internals. So this one doesn't have the problem with the edges appearing darker. This one also has the same kind of bowing on the edges, the slight uh, ridges sort of. So let's see if the magnet color is different. So yeah, on this first layer, instead of green magnets, we have red magnets. And then on the corners, uh, we have blue instead of red on the 8x8. And then for the second layer, it looks like that's purple. And then we have green and then yellow, it looks like. So that's actually pretty cool. When you turn the cube like this, you can see like kind of all the different magnet colors at once. So I wanna compare this 9x9 to the Meilong. Let's compare the sizes of these two. And it looks like this Dian Sheng 9x9 is just a little bit smaller by just about a millimeter or so. I don't know how well you can see that. Another thing is that this puzzle has totally glossy plastic, so you can kind of see the difference in the shades here. Uh, the colors are a bit darker. And also this has the slightly matted plastic and this is totally glossy. So I definitely prefer glossy plastic. But yeah, one thing I wanna kinda compare is just to see how much of a difference the magnets really make because that's really what sets this cube apart. So if I kind of just do like a sexy move on this, um, 
yeah, you can see those second layers are, are getting a bit stuck. They're, they're kind of turning on their own a little bit. I'm not really wanting them to move, but they are moving anyways. Let's see how it is on this one. Oops. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's actually a lot better. Okay. Yeah, no, that actually helps quite a bit. Having those magnets there really just keeps those middle layers from moving at all if you're not actually intending to move them. It's actually pretty cool. So yeah, if you're at all interested in bigger cubes and are interested in kind of speed solving them for fun, my guess is that these are probably gonna be the best ones you can buy. Like I said, I'm not too impressed with the turning out of the box. It's kind of stiff, but I think that these could probably get better with a good setup with some proper tensions and lubrication. Also, these puzzles aren't really out yet, so I don't know how much they cost yet. So I'm gonna try and make an SC on the price. I don't know how accurate it's going to be, but the Maylong 8x8 is $30, and considering that's not magnetic, uh, I'm going to say maybe add $10 to the price for the magnets. So I'm going to guess this one might be around $40, and then this one maybe around $45. Uh, that's my guess, $45, $50, something like that. Yeah, I could be totally off there, but uh, if I had to guess, that's what it would be. So yeah, that was just kind of a quick unboxing and overview of the Dianshang Magnetic 8x8 and 9x9. Definitely let us know down in the comments if these are puzzles you'd be interested in picking up. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.